Hello, and welcome to Art with Miss Michelle. Today we're going to make a paper bunny project. So for this project, you'll need some different colored paper. And if you don't have different colors of paper, um, you can just use white paper and color it. Um, a glue stick, a pencil, some scissors and colored pencils or something to color with. And then I have some newspaper or an art mat to cover my workspace. Okay, so I'm going to start by cutting my bunny out of this white paper. So I can make a body. And it might help if I just draw my parts on with pencil so I can cut them out. And a little tail. If you have a cotton ball or a pom-pom, you could also use that for the tail. the head, and then I can make some paws. And then the back foot is usually long with a big muscle for the thigh. So I'm just gonna cut these out. And I only made one back leg because I'm gonna have kind of a profile view, so I'm just gonna see one back leg and then I have two front legs I can put on right here. Okay, and then for the ears, I can just cut two strips, and then I can make the top a little bit rounded. Okay, so now I'm going to glue my parts onto here, so if you just have another piece of white paper, you can color a background for it before you glue anything on. Um, I also might want to make some grass out of this green paper so I might want some like behind my bunny so it looks like it's sitting in a grassy meadow. So I'm just going to cut this so it looks like some grass and you could even just cut lines in it like this if you wanted to make thicker grass. So then I left the bottom, I left quite a bit that's not cut on the bottom. So I can put my glue on the bottom here and then my grass pieces can kind of still move when it's on here. So it'll give it some nice texture. And then I can start gluing the parts of my bunny on. So I'm going to start with the body. And I can add the tail. And I like to put the glue on the same side as the pencil. So in case I didn't cut a little bit of it off, I won't see those pencil marks. Now that's not going to work for this leg because I made it in, it has to go in a certain direction. So I might just take a moment to erase my pencil lines in case I don't want to see them. And then for the ears, I might want to color the inside of the ears. And then I can decide for the ears if I want to glue them on straight or I can fold them and make them floppy if I want. Um, I might even be able to like curl them a little bit. If I roll them up. Then I'll just put glue on like the bottom part, maybe about halfway up. And then my curled part can stick up a little bit so you can have some fun with the ears. And then you can draw your face on. 
you might want to draw it on before you glue it, but mine is already glued on. <laughs> That's okay. Um, I can give it some whiskers. If you have anything else you want to use to decorate your bunny, you can. Um, I can add some flowers or butterflies or whatever I want to add to this picture. Maybe some little birds flying around. So this is just kind of a little fun spring project. Um, so you can decorate your bunny and add some more detail. Um, thanks for watching my video. I hope you like this project and happy bunny making.